okay, this punch that I made last video turned out well. Uh, not, a, not a problem with it, but I decided to use that small leftover piece to forge out another rather than grind it out. So here's that one. Still needs to be heat treated. I want to point out that the wind is insane today. See this old plastic roofing just about gone. I needed to replace that anyway. Anyway, I just wanted to point out that the background noise would probably be worse than usual. I decided to extend my platform over a little so I can put that small anvil slash swage block in that place and use it more. For the time being, I'll just use it in a free-floating manner, but I might want to eventually tie it down. Just depends on how I use it and what orientation. This fits with the theme of me trying to get everything a little bit lower and so reduce the noise. The wall behind me, if I'm below that, I've noticed that the noise reduces quite a bit. So I was really surprised that I sold all six hex hammers pretty quickly, and in fact I've ordered more stock. So if anyone is interested, I'll still give a pretty good discount, so just let me know. For the hammer sitting on my anvil, I used this shorter forged out punch and I was really pleased with it. So to give a quick demo, I found this old tong that someone gave to me. It's a Chinese made tong. It's actually very nice. It's a pass through style tong and I held the punch thusly, but it really was unwieldy. I don't like the thin handles and it's just too long for how I operate. I'll use this stock to make a tong today. But before I do that, I just want to clean the scale off this punch so I can examine it a little bit better. Went out and I bought 32 millimeter stock to use with that uh, hardy hole punch jig. So that'll be for another video. I might even go to this 38 millimeter to make a very short punch. Uh, like a friend of mine used to say, short and thick does the trick. After a little bit of grinding, the fit is perfect, but that's for another day. So needing a punch tongue for my 30 millimeter punch there, I've got a few options. This is my more traditional style here, which I think I made this tongue actually in a video. Or maybe something more like this, kind of looks like a nail puller. But I think what I'm going to go with is this alternative style here. I've had this tongue for forever, and it's kind of an all-purpose. I'll make something similar. For expediency, I'll just show myself making one half of this tongue, since they're identical halves. I want to thank JJ Meyer for becoming my latest Patreon supporter. Having recurring support really is a blessing. Thanks. And just quickly, I've worked out a simple reward system for those who donate and reach a certain level. So check out my Patreon page for more information on that.
I apologize that that piece of wood on the left hand side is creeping into the frame there just for the next few clips. Uh, still getting used to this new camera and its uh, lens range. If you watch my channel for a while, you probably know that I typically don't like using a tongue for holding punches. Uh, it's mainly a manipulation issue for me, but I guess with the right pair of tongues and under the right circumstances, it probably could be advantageous. And with steel prices so high, it does make sense to use shorter lengths of steel, shorter punches if possible. Don't worry, this is the last clip with that piece of wood. This is the third prototype of my hot shear, and I think this is the final one. It's working really well for me and suits my need. I never listed this on my website, but if anyone is interested, just shoot me an email. I found this medium carbon steel to be very sufficient for punches, so long as the quench is done properly. And what medium carbon lacks in hardness, I think it makes up for with its extreme toughness. By the way, the tongue, like most of my tongues, is made from mild steel. Some have questioned why I've gotten away from using more exotic steels, alloys like uh, air hardening steels. And I think part of it is, is that the quality I've noticed has gone down and it just varies too much in my opinion. That's some funky audio. Orson Welles, I'm not. I actually prefer this punch style over the more traditional style and so I think I'll make this the default style on my website.
overall I'm very pleased and being lower like this with the punch being short and with this lower anvil I think that'll really help me a lot it gives me a little more power in my seated position this is another way I use this style of tongue to hold a hammer from the eye from the back like that. Thanks for sticking around, and I'll catch you guys next time.